In the country where I come from, ask an average young person if he would love to leave the country for a developed country. He would give you a yes without thinking. One time in my life too, I had a strong desire to relocate to a western country. You see, when we think like this, it is often because of one thing, the hope of greener pasture. We believe there are no opportunities in our country and that opportunities are bound in the white man's land. We believe because we are called third world country and our governments aren't considerate, we are doomed to poverty if we don't migrate to another land. The average youth in my country does not believe he can become rich here. He believes without a shade of doubt that he would make it as fast as possible in America or Canada or any other related countries. The salient assumption is that the western countries grow monies on trees and golds grow on their roads. If you traveled abroad, even if it was two days ago, you were instantly considered rich. I started to wonder about this some times ago. I figured that if it was true becoming rich was so easy in the developed countries, then why do they still have the poor over there? Why do they still have the homeless and beggars on their streets? Then I took some time to inspect our people who claimed becoming successful was difficult in their country. I saw that they weren't unsuccessful because of the poor conditions over here. They weren't unsuccessful because of the numerous problems, which indeed are there. They weren't unsuccessful because of the opportunities that weren't often available to them. Instead, I saw a very terrible attitude that was disallowing them from succeeding. And that was the attitude that would keep putting a gridlock on the possibility of success for most of our youths and even adults. The attitude that will never make you rich. I love to quote from Mark Hansen and Jack Canfield's book, chicken soup for the soul a lot. This is because the book contains a lot of inspirational stories that always encourages me. One of the stories was about Mrs. Annie Johnson of Arkansas. In 1903, Mrs. Annie found herself with two toddling sons, very little money and a slight ability to read and add simple numbers. Worst still, she carried the burden of a disastrous marriage and the fact that she was a Negro. She left her husband and was left broke. According to her, she looked up the road she was going and back the way she had come. Since she wasn't satisfied, she decided to step off the road and cut herself a new path. She wasn't a fancy cook, but she could mix groceries well enough to scare hunger away from starving a man. The first day, she worked into the night, making meat pies and frying hams. The next morning, she walked five miles to a cotton gin where lay workers walked. Soon as they smelt her meat pie and hams, they called to her. She sold her meat pie and hams to factory workers at the town's cotton gin and lumber mill, where both factories are miles apart. She did this consistently until she became widely known there and succeeded just showing up to sell meat pies and hams. She could have been ashamed of herself and her situation. She could have been ashamed of pushing her cart to those factories each morning to sell her wares. She could have looked for a more sophisticated job or business so that she would look posh and sleek, but she didn't. Instead, she understood her impoverished situation, swallowed her pride and did what she could to get her life back together. One of the reasons most people won't be rich. You see, you may have noticed it too, but the reason most people are poor is often because of their pride. While reading the article this morning, I got an idea to start to sell a type of food in our neighborhood. I would have to prepare the food myself, pass it on to stores on the streets and have them sell for me. But if I would sell very well, I would have to sell myself. Then it occurred to me that this was a simple business and most people craved this kind of food. Yet, why wasn't anybody doing it? Well, it is because doing this kind of business would seem demeaning for most people. I would make a lot of money doing it but it would require me forgetting my reputation as the big guy to do this kind of business. That was when it occurred to me why most youths and adults in my country stay poor. Their pride keeps them from becoming rich. Most cannot do the most demeaning job, even if it would bring them money. Tell an average youth to be a janitor and he will think you are cursing him. Tell him to work as a security person, opening and closing gates for visitors, and he will think he's under some spell from his village people. Yet, when they leave the country for another country, they would subject themselves to such ignominy, doing odd jobs they would never do back in their country. 
if you look around to see immigrants who are succeeding in your country today most of them would never do in their home country the jobs they are now doing in your country because they are too proud but success is built in the trenches you never know what you will do to make you rich most great businesses started as nothing the owner being willing to do what it takes including doing something demeaning to make it work my older brother cleaned toilets and washed people's clothes for years before he owned his thriving business a boss i know mr steve courage had to hawk and sell firewood at a time so that he could make things work i had to do a couple of odd jobs just because i wanted to be successful colonel sander the man who started the kentucky fried chicken had to travel to so many states trying to convince so many restaurants to buy into his fried chicken business no man becomes anything who is ashamed to do what it takes to become it if washing toilets and scrubbing floors is the point where you have to start to become rich it doesn't mean you will die there don't be content with your low state your low state should not be your end state being down is no reason to stay down the problem is that most people become content with that particular state although they aren't holding a good job they don't strive to grow beyond where they are a janitor will die a janitor if she doesn't have a goal to grow beyond that does it mean you should be ashamed to be a janitor no work is work and we should always be proud of what we do as long as it is not stealing but if you give up and stay there never planning how you are going to become better than that you'll remain there if your pride keeps getting in the way of your success it is most certain you will never succeed if you can't do the demeaning shameful things certainly you are not ready for success brian tracy sold from door to door before he became a successful salesman hugh jackman most famously known for playing wolverine in the x-men movies used to be a physical education teacher whoopi goldberg the star of various movies including sister act worked as a morgue beautician brad pitt worked in many demeaning capacities before finding fame but perhaps none was worse than his stint as a chicken mascot for fast food chain el polo loco megan fox had to dress up as a giant banana to attract customers to a smoothie shop in florida before becoming one of the highest paid actors in hollywood johnny depp worked as a telemarketer selling ballpoint pens over the phone so before you look down on a job as demeaning know that most millionaires and billionaires worked odd jobs tom corley the author of rich habits the daily success habits of wealthy individuals while researching his book found out that 76 percent of those who were wealthy were self-made millionaires they came from non-wealthy households 31 percent of these millionaires came from poor households while 45 percent came from middle class households the bulk of the rich people in the world were poor people they managed odd jobs they worked odd jobs and yet focused on their goals so before you give up on yourself right now look to the end goal you are trying to achieve to have enough money so you can help other people live a better life know that work is work if you aren't proud of what you do you aren't ready to get successful people who can't do the dirty jobs can't be rich if you love to sit on your high horse doling out instructions and commands to people you will die poor no doubt but if you are willing to crawl down the rabbit hole doing the dirty jobs with bold confidence that you have a great future what great future awaits you if this video inspired you share it with your friends we love you